what i mean by viscous fluids are basically thick fluids like oil honey etc at the beginning of our discussion i mentioned that we'll assume that the molecules of this fluid they cannot apply a tangential force on each other but now we're going to talk about fluids that do that's the difference so when i talk about viscous fluids i mean fluids whose molecules can apply a tangential force on each other and this force is called the viscous force now to understand this consider a fluid again that's made up of balls right and assume that each layer of balls is like a, a plane of very small thickness now if i place a solid plate of area a on top right and let's say i apply a force like this such that the the plate moves with a with a constant speed v now what happens is the topmost layer of this fluid which is in contact with with the top with the plate will get dragged along at the same speed because of the viscous force between the topmost layer and the plate whereas we find that the bottommost layer does not move at all because of the viscous force between the bottommost layer and the plate okay and also this speed reduces gradually as we move from top to bottom perpendicular to the fluid flow because of the viscous force between the different layers one thing to note is that this kind of flow where a viscous fluid flows in parallel layers and there is no lateral mixing this is called laminar flow to give you a simple intuition for what's happening assume that there there are these are different layers and there is some sort of a frictional force between these layers right so when you push it that friction force basically prevents these layers from moving now i'm not saying that viscous force is equal to frictional force viscous force is very similar to frictional force but not exactly the same there are quite a few differences so experimentally we find that the magnitude of this viscous force between any two layers is proportional to the area of contact a which is the area of the plate basically the speed of the topmost plate let's say v and is also it's inversely proportional to the depth l which is the distance between the topmost plate and the bottommost plate so we find let's say f f being the viscous force is proportional to a v by l now if i introduce a constant of proportionality we can write f is equal to eta av by l now this eta is called the coefficient of viscosity now this is a constant for a, for a particular fluid at a particular temperature this basically means higher the coefficient greater the viscous force right of course keeping all other parameters the same so a thicker fluid will basically have a greater coefficient of viscosity for example fluids like honey and glycerin have very high coefficients of viscosity to keep learning with such engaging videos download byjuice the learning app today